Hi, I'm Paul Hathaway, Director of Product Marketing at WSI, based in uh, Andover, Massachusetts. Here with Jim Campbell at uh, NBAA 2009. I'll be introducing uh, the Pilot Brief and Hubcast product line uh, for the folks at ANM. Pilot Brief is you know, a system that's found in the majority of uh, FBOs you might visit and corporate flight departments. Uh, it's also used extensively by a number of air carriers who give access to their pilots so they can self-brief in a hotel room uh, or at home. Those of us familiar with the product, essentially it's broken out into a very simple interactive tabbed format. There's uh, a home page where you can quickly access radar, our award-winning NOWRAD, uh, AV charts, and all of these products are available on a global basis. You can also just drill down specifically on uh, radar information, whether that's uh, the raw source data, uh, five minute, very quickly assembled, uh, but accurate composite, or go to radar summary or the 15 minute QC product. We do the same thing for satellite, from the GO satellites, then we have uh, AV charts that we produce on a proprietary basis for the US, also for the world, so that you, know, you can get these for Europe and South America and Asia. So wherever you're planning a flight, we have that sort of data. Uh, so it's a, it's a very, interact, a very uh, intuitive, graphically driven uh, format, uh, very simple to navigate. You can either get, you know, click on a, uh, for instance, a, uh, a chart, and you can also loop that chart. So it's really just very simple clicks of the mouse. Now this system works you know, essentially exactly the same way as our satellite-based pro system, except that you access it online. Uh, the product is accessed using a, uh, a secure connection, and uh, any web browser, whether it's IE 6, 7, or 8, or Firefox will work. Just use your username and password at our secure site. A big push for WSI, though, in the last year and a half to two years has been taking the very familiar nature of Pilot Brief and Pilot Brief Online and moving them to Web 2.0 interactive technologies. Now, you know, while these graphics are incredibly powerful, they're very intuitive, they're also uh, relatively static in your ability to see the weather in the context of a route or see weather data layers in relation to each other. And so that's why we've invested um, significantly in our interactive mapping technologies. So our interactive map essentially uh, runs in an Adobe Flash client. So this is a high resolution, pole to pole, digital elevation model of the world. And essentially you can layer any data you desire relative to your route of flight globally. So for instance, let's you know, turn on airports for the world and it will, it will load those. And then let's put in, uh, we want to go from Teterboro, New Jersey to London Heathrow. What the system does is now provide you with a couple of options. We could choose the Great Circle route across the pond here, which is just direct. That's in case there's no uh, preferred, uh, previously filed, or CDR routes. Or we can go and see what FAA routes have been approved in the last couple of days. So let's pick this one here. Those are the waypoints. I can pan the map at any time. I can zoom in and out on my destination. Or I can go back to my departure very quickly. And this is all over the web, accessible for, from any PC essentially with a web browser. So it's a very responsive uh, product. Now what we can do is let's turn on uh, radar and IR satellite, and we'll go to our whole route. So this is European radar, as well as our NOWRAD, relative to our route of flight. And we, can, we have access now to a whole bunch of products. The beauty of this product, it's been uh, architected to be highly extensible. So as WSI gets access uh, or purchases or creates new weather data layers, they can be bolted onto this product and they're all enabled through service plans that are easily uh, configurable. So for instance, we could turn on our global lightning network, we could turn on uh, tropical storms, we could turn on our proprietary flight plan guidance graphics or our WSI segments. 
this is really the cornerstone for uh, a number of derivative products. This, the interactive map here is a module that can be embedded in any other number of web services, such as uh, WSI Hubcast, and definitely certain elements of this also go into uh, Fusion, our dispatch product. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.